Hello, and today we are going to check out a new game for the channel called Dota Underlords. Now, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, I have leveled up. Um, I've been spending some time. Let's get this uh, audio turned down, shall we? There we are. So, as you can see, I've been spending some time getting to know the game. Um, and try to learn and pave the way for other noobs, just like myself, to give you some hints and tips. And Because it's not entirely clear on how we kind of progress and how we make good choices with this game. So, I'm going to start us off and we're going to go straight into a game here. Um, and we'll see how we go. Now, I'm not really sure of this game type. I mean, it's not dissimilar to uh, like Hearthstone and, you know, all those kind of card games going. Um, I think I've heard a game called auto chess maybe it's something like that so round one so here we are we've got our coins um we, we've got one coin to spend and we've got one place in order to buy someone this is our timer so we're going to buy someone who looks pretty strong so we're going to go for the axe when we've bought him we need to click and drag him onto the board like that and we can close the button here and wait for the round to start now he's our strongest player so far um and what you'll find is we'll have uh, a few warm-up rounds so basically we can gather coins level up and get as many characters on the board as we can now there's a lot of different kind of mechanics that we need to think about here as well there we go we won shocker which is great so now I should I've won those coins and I should be able to um, purchase another character on the board so I'm gonna choose some something to like a perk almost and I'm going to go for extra damage. Now this is my chest. To add, to apply this to my character, I drop and drag onto him there. And now, as you can see, he's the one with extra damage. Now I've got two coins to go. As you can see, I've got an ability. I can choose to buy another axe man. I can buy a warlock, etc., etc. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy another axe man. And you're probably thinking, well, Ryan, why are we doing that? So as you can see. He's got one star and he's got one star. We can level them up to a two star and we can level them up to a three star. In order to level them up, we need three equal stars or three of the same type of the same star level. So if I was to buy um, a third axe character hero, they would then merge together to create one two star. So I'd go from having two characters on the board to one. Similarly, I'll need three two stars in order to create one three star and that's what we're kind of hoping to build now uh, let's get vitality booster again drop and drag onto here here so this is the important part these are the perks and buffs we get per round and this helps us um, choose the kind of person we're having next synergy is so important when considering this game because we need to make sure we can be as powerful as possible so I've got two close range characters here so I'm going to go forward and I'm going to get a um, what would you call a, a ranger so someone who's there we go someone who I can kill from far and you see as I'm holding there's like a, a highlighted area and it shows us where their range is so if I pop that one behind the two warriors at the front that should give their madrail ranger um, a bit of support a bit of help a bit of protection so there they are taking down those guys super now, if we were to select them in game, you'll see it's got the stats, it's got the health, and it breaks it down even further down here. And this is their alt or their passive abilities that they can do. So, for example, it adds a 10% bonus attack speed to allies one cell away. So these guys are one cell away, so they'll get they'll be faster essentially. Okay, uh, again, I've got another vitality booster. I'm going to go for. Uh, I'm going to go for that. I'm going to keep stick it on our ranger for now let's have a look at our synergy so these are our synergies so far okay we need to get two in order to benefit from it so as you can see with brawny if i have another brawny unit um for two i'll get all brawny units have their maximum hp increased by 200 okay again heartless all enemies suffer minus five armor and then there are three stages two four and six and as you can see two four and six so for every vertical line you fill that enables the buff now i don't recommend you buying and buying and buying and spending all the gold straight away just because you can um, you might not benefit initially in the first uh, few stages in the early rounds however over the course of the rounds okay think of it as a marathon 
you will be you will be beneficial so I've lost this one there's no doubt about that so from a hundred depending on how many stars that the person had he had two stars left over so I've lost two health and there I am the reason why you don't want to spend all your money and your gold straight away is simple okay we want as much gold as we can in order to generate what we're gonna call um, interest and interest is something that will only happen for every 10 so I'm gonna go now and by we've got none here I'm going to talk about these this player type in a sec so for every 10 you get you get an extra one gold so if I've got 10 gold I'll get one gold 20 gold two gold up to 50 gold and you get five extra gold and that's labeled as interest so you should always want to start your matches above the 10 above the closest 10 however if I was to now with the matches started if I was to buy some characters I would still get my interest because I started that round with more than 10 and you can see I got absolutely hammered look they've got a two star hero already it's not always necessary skill necessarily skill it does also boil down to the luck and the characters that you get given the option of choosing from um, you can roll I'll show you the roll button in a second but I do not recommend you roll early days because uh, we want to accumulate as much gold as we possibly can okay so let's have a look here then we've got pudge if we was to put if we were to put pudge on there would fill at least one so I'm gonna buy him I'm gonna stick him in there and I'm gonna swap him with that one so I'm gonna come here see how that's turned yellow that means that I've got one available but it's on the bench so we've got tiny here as well and that will fill up our warrior one we're gonna keep that free just for now okay um, we're not necessarily gonna focus on warriors so now we should have if we click on this section here full synergy or some synergy with heartless so the enemies are suffering from a minus five armor whether this has helped us get our first victory versus another player I'm not sure maybe it's just luck perhaps they're saving too but here we go that's our victory fantastic let's see what we get so we're looking now we need to kind of think about where we want to go we've got a couple of options that we can go down so we've got a hunter we've got a druid we've got a brawny character we've got a savage character and we've got a couple of them now to help you decide whether you want to go for these types of characters if these characters are compatible with some you've already got on the board you'll see these logos or these icons along with how many um, vertical tubes I guess holes or whatever you want to call them are full so for example if I had a warlock on the board already you'd show me the warlock and how he would help okay when it flashes I'll talk about when it flashes that will mean something different so look at this dude here look he's got two two stars and three one star so he's been really lucky so far um, it's not to say that we're gonna lose because we've taken a couple of hits it's he's just been lucky with his rolls perhaps he's got no have a look cac 2 where's cac 2 there he is look yeah look he's used all of his gold as much as he can look he's got one gold left whereas we're sitting at a nice 22 so at the end of that round we should have two plus two gold interest because we are above 20 so let's double check that as soon as it goes we can also click on here and roll and roll and roll um, should we should we wish um, similarly if we want to boost our level we can just click on this it will cost us five gold and it will take it will give us a certain amount of XP so there we are five base gold and two interest super right so here we are this is the great thing so we're, I'm gonna go for this druid because the lowest star ally druid is upgraded the level so if we buy him and if we pay for an upgrade we can then put an extra play on the board now if we stick him here that means that one of these two the weakest of the two will actually be a two star so did you see how this one druid here converted that druid to a two star because we've got a full block colored in okay so level two the lowest star ally druid is upgraded at a level now if we had four druids on the table then the two weakest will be upgraded a level okay so really if you think about it I only need to upgrade one of them to three and one of them to two which would give me three two threes three stars okay right hopefully we can see an axe come through we want another axe so we can get our first legitimate two star that would be greatly greatly beneficial so five base gold two interest because we we're above 20 gives us seven overall okay let's have a look 
So we've got a Slark, we've got a Beastmaster. Now Beastmaster, you see how that's flashing? That means if we were to purchase Beastmaster and pop him on the board, we'd get two slots into Brawny and an extra slot into Hunter. And do you know what? I think that is something that we're going to do. So we're going to sit him on the bench and wait for us to level up next and we can stick him on. And you can see that they've done really well. So they've got a Demon Hunter, Shaman. Yeah, we're, we're in for a, an ass whooping. Here we go. Yeah, we've been had. Now the Shamans and stuff, they have their own unique abilities. Um, they basically silence the players. Um, they make the play. They make our our players um, turn into frogs or geese or chickens or make us um, silent for X amount of seconds or whatever. So you need to bear that in mind, and you need to think about which of those characters you are able to play and which synergize properly. When I say synergize, that means basically work well as a team better. And I see we're on a losing streak, so we get an extra coin, but that's cool. It's not a problem. Okay, I'm also going to pick up a. Uh, a Venomancer. I'm going to pick up a Venomancer because that's going to fill up our Savage. And I'm going to re-roll. I've got 32. If I re-roll, okay, you can see I'm still above 30. I re-rolled because I was hoping that I might get um, another Axe. But I haven't got another Axe. That's not a problem. We'll have to wait. So this is a loot round now. So again, we go against these NPCs in the hopes that um, we'll win and get a choice of three items. And the items vary. You might get um, weapon type upgrades. You might get life, mana, and other type of passive upgrades. For example, we might have a, a higher chance of whatnot. And you can see we fail miserably. So we don't get to choose which one. It automatically knocks off two of the items and we have to pick the third one whether we like it or not. Now you see here on the right hand side we've got like it's like outlined. That means that we have the the potential to fill that in, but the players are on the bench. Now here we go. So it's given us this one about the mana. So I think with the mana one we're gonna give to one of our um what type are they? Druids, aren't they? Yeah, one of our druids. That's fine. Okay, here we go then. So we're definitely going to have a Shadow Fiend, because I, I know from personal experience they're pretty strong. And we're also going to choose a uh, another Venomancer in the hopes to get him up. And although it's going to take me below 30, I'm going to level up and get him on the board straight away. Let's see how we get on. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting game. So I've already chosen my players, the, the ones I kind of want to lead into the end with. Um, now it's just about building them up, making them as strong as I can. It's um, might do well, might not. Um, a good tip is to try and go for these guys first. So the inventors, so like the goblin-y type guys, um, because they're they're quite powerful and they, they synergize together really well. And there's different types of inventors rather than just scratch or magic or what there's there's a variation of them so we've already got a pudge so let's get a second pudge in just in case i'm going to re-roll again in the hopes that we're going to get a no nothing that we need okay now just because these guys are glowing and they're more expensive doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be what we want or what we need okay and so all this information is here and actually you can find out um, an in-depth version or an in-depth information on the home screen and I'll show that to you after our match now or well, after we've had our match yeah look we're getting our asses handed to us which is not a problem it doesn't matter too much we'll get there it's about playing the long game as you can see we're currently losing we're at the bottom of the scoreboard here at the bottom it's okay it's not too bad well look I think we're gonna come out we're gonna come on top super that's great so we're not we're not last which is great Super. So we've um, <laughs> we're in the bottom three. We're at the top of the bottom three. Yeah, <laughs> that'll do. Okay, so here we go. So as you can see, we've already got a nature's profit. I could buy him now, um, but that wouldn't change anything. It would still mean I can only still only have five players on the board, um, six rather. 
uh, it, they won't automatically level up yet so what I'm going to do I'm going to wait until the timers finished and then purchase him because I would have started the match with 40 which means that I will still get that four extra gold for interest so the match has started I can now start spending some cash I'm gonna get him there and I'm gonna re-roll and here we go we've got another shadow fiend we've already got one one star so I'm gonna add him to the bench too yeah look, they've done really well they got really lucky with their rolls Wow, it's really knocked us down versus not love you can see how well they're doing and this flame the flame around their their card it shows that they are on a win streak like yeah purple is obviously a five win streak now we're we're not doing great but all is not lost we still have hope worry not we just need a couple of lucky rolls and then we're back in the game so there we go shadow fiend level two exactly what we needed exactly what we needed so I'm tempted to give us another roll in hopes that we get an extra no 37 this time now yep Venomancer super we've got two of them so what we'll do we're gonna swap out you for you and then that will still give us some good synergy there so we've got two two stars now and with that extra one there that gives us three two stars so we'll see how we get on hopefully we're doing well yes look how much more powerful our two star shadow fiend is doing really well that was his ultimate there you saw uh, they're still tearing us apart look yep oh this is going to be interesting no we've been had uh, it's, it's getting closer we're doing okay you know it's we're a very similar kind of level these hmm. so clicking on them shows their setup look and where you place your characters is really important okay <laughs> nature's profit here's our level two super so that'll give us two level twos um we want another axe ideally we've got another pudge that's fine level two pudge we've already got a level two venomancer so we're going to pick him as well um we're going to wait for that to run out for now um who's oh the heart we're going to stick him on there super so dog and pony show loot round that's hopefully we can win this loot round so we can choose from a greater selection than we did before that's fine so yeah depending on where you place your characters on the board depends also the outcome of the match um you might want to put the weaker characters further back and surround them by the stronger characters because there are perks and stuff which allow the opposing team to teleport behind the weakest player and just hammer them from behind so it's you've also got to put a bit of thought into it as much as luck plays into it with the character selection and the character role you also need to think strategically on where you place your your people so here we are look we've got a tier three assassins we don't have any assassins so zero affected there ah this is the dagger i was talking about um yeah we'll do the blink dagger and tell you what we'll do we'll stick it on you right nobody there we need nobody oh we've got the drow ranger she's on the bench currently uh, there we are level two so we're going to swap you for you i'm going to pop you there pop you there you're fine there you're fine there you're fine there and we're going to pop that there okay i swapped them out because we need more stars more stars means more power and um, currently we can't really afford to lose any more health as we are so it's important that we've got this power and we've got the the strength in order to defeat the opponents and as you can see that that worked if we look at our synergy right now we've got our savage synergy so we've got plus damage we've got demon so we've got 50 percent pure damage we've got our heartless our druid that we've spoken about and the warlock which is 15 percent life steal so that's it's doing all right this dude's on a seven round win streak so you're doing well mate well done so again we need to keep going in the hopes that something kind of comes along i'm thinking now we might sell our axe people you know we, we started with them um we're not using them that's just wasting our energy um we've also got this guy here we don't have any of him on the board um so i'm probably going to sell him as well and let's see what else we can roll there's nothing there that's into us nothing that interests us there uh, nothing there either that's fine and last roll anything on here 
yeah, so we've got a Drow Ranger, so we can collect the Drow Ranger. Because the round started, we'll still get our four extra gold. So we'll select you, we'll close you, and see how we get on here. Right, so we're looking at playing against Peter Yalta, and as you can see, we're absolutely destroying him. Look how quickly, quickly we are. That's why it's so important to accumulate accumulate your coins because without the extra coins I've been getting from the interest I may not have been able to do an extra couple rolls in order to level up the characters that I wanted to and although yeah we're still at the bottom we're going to gradually get up as we're going to win against others that's the plan that's the theory you need to think about this is a long game this is a marathon not a sprint and when you start beating them that quickly you need to think about how how can I improve what can I do generally I'll find a squad of six or seven and keep that. You can go up to ten, but I always try to aim for synergy and strength rather than quantity. So none there for us. Here we go. So we've got a Drow Ranger, Nature's Prophet, and a Pudge. That's super. So we're down to forty. I'm not going to spend any more. Um, so it'd be ideal if we could get an extra Drow Ranger, which would give us two two stars. Then we need three one more one stars to combine that to make you into a three star okay that's how this is going to work so where's Elric 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 so he's not too far behind us so he was of a similar level but looking at see looking at his gold he's accumulating his gold as well so he's got big plans he's he's using the same kind of tactic as us that's somebody's out there hoping that we can get this in yeah we've got it not sure what that was there but we destroyed him don't think we had any deaths so he would have taken a big hit there because we had so many more, so many stars on the board. So at two, four, six, eight, ten, it would have taken eleven HP hit. And there we are moving up again. Look, which is good. Now hopefully we'll get another good roll here for us. Four interest, great. Yep, Drow Ranger, great. So we're on fifty. We'll stay at fifty, and we'll talk. We'll think about re-rolling afterwards in order to get that so that's looking good I don't want to add any more because these in order to max out these they need an, an extra two as well as these for level or not that one that one and that one an extra two which will take us up to eight which can be potentially challenging to manage and also maintain as well so yeah, you've got a couple of weak characters in there so it'd be interesting to see how this this fight turns out yep I think we've got him yeah, easy. Nice one. See that mask there? That means that that character was silenced. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that does, but I know that sometimes you can get a relic or something and apply it to your character. It makes them silenced. However, it gives them buffs or debuffs your enemies, so it can be quite handy to have. Similarly, I have recognised that that is an attack for some of the heroes in the game, so it's something to watch out for. Okay, see we've got five interest because we got 50. Now, now we're up to 60, um, or 62 rather. We're not, we're not gonna get six interest. We only get five interest because the maximum is 50 as far as the interest is concerned. So it, we can kind of splash out a little bit here. Don't need to worry too much about it. There's two, there we are. That's our enchant enchantress, awesome. So now we've got two level two druids. One of them will be uh, got move up to a level three. So yeah, she's gone up to a level 3 now, which is very handy. We haven't come across any level 3, so it's important you need to buy multiple. Plan ahead, think about the synergies. Without the synergies, you might as well not bother at all. You might as well just spend all your money. Okay, so that's the important part. So let's see what options we get here. So 25 attack damage offered. So if we were to go into the next level, next tier, we get level tier three or tier fours. I'm not happy about that. We're going to go for the skull basher, and we're going to give the skull basher to our big friend. We'll take you, uh, and you're fine. I'm not going to upgrade the uh, druids anymore because they upgrade one another, so they're fine as they are. We'll do one more drow ranger. Super. So we just need one more drow ranger in order to make our current drow ranger a level three, and we're going to put you here. I want you to have some good strength on you, some good damage. Okay, here he is. Now he's got he's got some good synergy going on there. You can see look at looking at his characters. So we're hoping oh yeah. 
it's going to be a whitewash look, absolutely annihilators. Chocopy, where's Chocopy? He's similar level, similar HP, but he was just much stronger. And that gave us 14, how many he had left look. So we're we're going to be struggling in a second. It's not going to be not going to be good for us. Okay, ideally we're going to look for a Drow Ranger um, because the Drow Ranger will upgrade it to a level three. So a Nature's Prophet, we can upgrade that, but actually if we sell it because we've already got him kind of leveled up through the buff, so we can keep going nothing there for us nothing there of course we're not going to see a draw ranger at all are we there's a venomancer that's fine oh no i missed the shadow fiend i want to keep going until we find the draw ranger because that could be there we are make or break so that we bought the draw ranger there so that's going to be integral for the next part of our um, session and next part of our um, attack because there's we'll have three level threes essentially then so hopefully on the next one you'll see her in the middle she'll be a level three lovely there she is level three and one of these two will be a level three as well so it's two level threes and the rest are level twos which is great here we go so 46 anyone here that we want not particularly not particularly not particularly okay we'll wait there right so this this information shows the the damage that we can deliver so you know our shadow fiend as you can see is ridiculously strong uh and that that's what i like to see it's really helpful dps again shadow fiend that's what's really important so make sure you, you do get a shadow fiend if you can and also it will give you that demon ability now as you can see here there's a cross there which means there's a demon hunter which basically nullifies the demon effect the demon buff that is offered having one demon on your team any more than one demon it nullifies it itself and unfortunately there's no such thing as a double negative in this game so if you had a demon nullifier then yeah i'm sure you get what i'm saying where we're going out soon where are we 23 okay we'll see how we get on Get him, we don't need him, don't need her, don't need any of them. We'll have him, we'll have him, we don't need any of them, don't need any of them. We'll keep the three, we'll wait for that to go down, and then hopefully we can get lucky on the next roll or so uh, in order to progress. Chocopy again, here we go, oh, no, no luck there. All right. You see how they put his in, he's put his in the corner? So that's his defensive tactics. Um, I'm going to take off the um, the assassin one off of her, the teleport one, because she's just it's just not going great for her. And I'm going to reorder my heroes, because all of them are quite far damaged. I'm going to get them all in the corner, because I think it's probably best that these are the type that are so I'm going to move them around I'm going to put that one on that one swap them around so you can go on there and you can go on there like so okay 36 yeah it's not looking likely okay as you can see we've got um, an extra player we can add on another demon but we're going to add on him because he is a two star he's the strongest one we've got just for the sake i wouldn't recommend continue rolling but just for the sake of the video i'm going to keep rolling until we find one that we like there we are shadow fiend so we've got a two star shadow fiend so if we get another two star that'll turn that bad boy into a three star which is game over for anyone else to be honest they're ridiculously strong come on mate that's it easy well done i don't think we took any casualties did we Two, four, six, oh, one casualty. That's not bad at all. So we're down to 10 HP here. If we get another loss, it's more than likely that we're going to die, that we're going to lose. However, it might not necessarily be the same. Uh, all units are one gold cheaper. Uh, melee, on melee only. Melee attacks cleave 30% damage up to nearby units. And attack speed increased. Definitely attack speed. And we're going to put that on you. 
and then we're going to put that on you there so now we've got another pudge uh, let's get that one then let's keep going another shadow fiend lovely thank you none of them now this is a make or break kind of match so that's why I'm spending all the money oh. right right if we get one more shadow fiend that will make that will give us three two star shadow fiends and then that would combine them all to make a one three star shadow fiend now we're playing against not love who you can see up here he's doing really well so the potential here is that we're not doing great but the way i've positioned my characters it stops them from getting attacked from behind as as they were so that seems to have kind of gone in our favor which is great and they're, they're all of them arranged with the exception of the fat guy pudgy okay so we're looking down here we've done all right potentially he's been knocked out i don't know i don't know if his health's gone down yet it might have already he says there he's lost so us three at the bottom yeah we're in we're in hot water as they say okay cool this will give me a level three venomancer see that um so i'm going to stick on another demon there and I'm not going to re-roll because even if I was to re-roll, I'm not going to let's stick with you on there. I'm not going to be able to um, buy anything, so it would just be a waste. This, is going to be a good day. this will be an interesting day, mate. Don't know about good day. Pazinki, he's just above me as well. So between the two of us, it's going to be decided who's going out. It looks like he's getting destroyed. I've got one, two. I've got four, three stars going on there. He's still got a one star in things to remember just because that these some of the units are expensive doesn't mean they're good what's important is the synergy that you have on the board okay I've got one two three four five clear different buffs in order to give me great synergy so please be aware of that right I'm hoping to get a shadow fiend come on get a pudge because when we get a shadow fiend we'll have an extra room for a pudge Ooh, yeah I'm gonna keep it there we're still in it he's just got one HP left so the next loss he gets he's a goner there is no doubt about that so we just kind of need to wait and see how he gets on hopefully he'll be fine hopefully not so we're playing against number one here he's only got one level three whereas we got one two three three level threes there I thought we had four my bad come on boys that's looking good. Look, we're destroying him. Absolutely destroying him. He's not on a win streak either. Oh, he's got two left. Oh, this is going to be close. This is going to be close. He's destroyed. No. That's it. We're goners. Oh, no, we're not. How lucky is that? How lucky is that? We're down to three. That is... Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's going to be... We need this Shadow Fiend. Without a Shadow Fiend, I feel that we're gone as that we're dead. Good as dead. We're gone as. Absolute gone as. Well, you can see they're going on here. Yo. Okay, eight seconds. This is it. This is make a break. Who are, we, who are we fighting? Or is this a loot round? Might be a loot round. No. Chocopy. We've lost every le match against him. Well, best of luck, guys. Let's see how we get on. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. We're delivering some good damage here. He seems to be... Yes. Oh, my goodness. Two Shadow Fiends. Yes, mate. Happy days. That's our first victory against him. Thank you. So, he's been knocked out. See you later, bud. At least we're not last. Oh, He's been knocked out, so we might be last. We might be the top three of the bottom, or top of the bottom three. You know, take each victory as it comes. Okay, uh, next profit. We don't need him. Come on, Shadow Fiend. That's all we need. Ah, not cool. Not going to happen. I tell you now, if we get a level three Shadow Fiend, that's it. Game over. We've won. With there'll be no doubt in my mind. It's quite close. I've never seen it quite close. Sometimes you get to this kind of level and you've got someone still in like the early 90s HP. Like they've just been so lucky with their rolls. Oh yes, so this is um, another loot round. Fantastic. We'll just get this 
up and running then. That's one down. That's two down. And that's three down. Easy. Easy peasy. Okay. Here we go. This is it. Uh, I'm going to go for you. And you are going to go on you. And we've got an extra one, I know. But we'll, we'll worry about that. Ah, oh, no. Damn. Okay. This is it. I reckon this is it. This could be our last this could be our last round depending on who we're facing. I mean three, six, um, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, we've got sixteen. We could potentially knock out all of these three if we had no casualties. Oh no, here we go. Hmm. believe it we beat him so we're not we're not like bottom third either that's cool he's gone as well see you later see how it it's important to bide your time to get this synergy we're doing quite well we we're at the bottom for ages now we're gonna be at least fourth not interested in pudge all I want is him ah that's rubbish Okay, that's fine. We'll just have to keep waiting, biding our time. We can do this. Everyone got oh, their own. Little, yeah, everyone's got one on. That's fine. Okay, who we who we playing? Let's have a look. Kornak. Ooh. See, he got his axe. He's had him from the beginning. Look. Strong. That's going to be his mana regeneration there. So when that gets full, if he survives. Destroyed. GG. Well done. Fourth place. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. There we go. And we leveled up. Fantastic. Grifter level five. So, that's a quick rundown on how best to play um, Dota Underlords. That's the best way I've found to play. Look at synergies, buy your time, save your money in order to build up. Definitely recommend you get one of those Shadow Fiends because they are godly. Thank you for watching and tune in next time. Please leave any comments you have or feedback um, down below. And until then, cheerio.